guys, where's going on? Welcome back to another video. So today is the GoFest Berlin uh, day one. Uh, as you can see, we are not there, but there I is... Don't, 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 don't. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, there is... The... <laughs> The global challenge is to defeat 15 million Tingo Rockets play members, not peoples, members. So we have defeated one so far uh, and hopefully we can get this done. We've got another two days, is it? Yeah. About, yeah, got another two days to get that done. Also, we then get two times starters from Team Go Rocket battles, which is nice. We have the collection challenges is a Pokemon Go Berlin Molten Rock Habitat. We need to catch a normal to complete that. And we are about to jump into an Articuno raid. Ah. That was easy. Lovely days. Lovely days. It'll be shiny, can't it? It can be a shiny. Oh, imagine that. Shiny Articunos. Down he goes. CP of mine is going to be 1685. 1708. Mine's alright. Mine's, Mine's awful. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. No. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, yeah, I couldn't tell either. Alright. There we go. Mega Charizard X is down. He is out. And the camera angle has gone absolutely stupid. Come on. Three, two, one. Wow. Well, that ain't going to beat my 98, is it? Right, let's check the IVs on the Charizard. <laughs> Not expecting nothing in Shane here, but we never know. We have got the Berlin Molten Rock Habitat Collection Challenge right now. Uh, it was very, very easy to complete, to be fair. We get 2,022 Stardust, two Pinat Berries, and an encounter with a Panseer. Bit underwhelming, but I guess Panseer... It's Panseer. <laughs> yeah, well, what can you say? I nice. don't know what the Honda is, do Me you? Me neither. 1680? I didn't even see what mine went Oh, through. no, 1680 is bad. Wasn't yours like 17 something? Yeah, I was like, oh, three, two, one. Nice. Oh, mine's so bad again. Awful again, yeah. Oh, well, that's another IQ no down. Hopefully, we can get the shining whilst it is in raids, but we shall see. We have another Articuno raid here. Hopefully, this can be the shiny for us. Um, but even a, yeah, we've, I don't think we've even had a free star yet, so this might be the first. Fingers crossed. We're gonna check this Articuno right now, and in three, two, one. <sighs> Not a shiny uh, yeah. and 2115. I don't think that's going to be any good whatsoever. And the IVs on the Articuno are. Yeah, all for again. Yay! I was kind of thinking, what can I do to make PvP a bit more interesting? So we're going to do three uh, battles. The best of three gets to randomly choose the opponent, uh, an opponent's shiny to discard. I have made my own tag where all my shinies are going to be and there's going to be a couple of good shinies in there and hopefully if we lose we don't lose any of them shinies and pretty much the concept's going to be we're going to do rock paper scissors and we're going to have 15 pokemon i choose five which i would like to use for my team chloe will choose five she would like to use for her team and then the opponent will choose 10 other pokemon and but so it'd be 15 pokemon one to 15 you randomly number them pokemon your opponent will call out the number and they will have to use that pokemon and this will be different for each of the battles so there'll be three battles so different pokemon for each and we're going to see what happens. So we have now numbered the Pokemon which we are going to be using 1 to 15 randomly. I don't know what Chloe's numbered her Pokemon. She doesn't know what she, what I've numbered mine. And we're going to do Rock, Paper, Scissors now. And whoever wins gets to choose the first number. Rock, Paper, Scissors. Rock, Paper, Scissors. Rock, Paper, Scissors. Aha, so I get to choose Chloe's first number. Um, we also added a cap of 2,000 CP. So we're going to be doing a Master League fight and we cannot use Pokemon weaker or the Pokemon that I've been chosen cannot be weaker than 2000 CP. As you guys can see on screen, these are what my numbers are and Chloe's numbers will be on screen now as well. And I'm going to choose for your first Pokemon number nine. Verizion. Verizion. Okay. Verizion. And now you choose a number for me. One. Number one, Garchomp. <laughs> okay. I'm going to choose Pokemon 12. Thunderous. Okay. Five. Pokemon 5 is going to be my Kyogre, and I'm going to choose Pokemon 2. Magachamp. Okay, and then you choose your, your, your Pokemon? 7. 7 is my Terrakion. 
Okay, so these are going to be my team. My team's going to be Garchomp, Kyogre, and Terrakion. And your team is going to be Virizion, Thunderous, and uh, Garchomp. Garchomp, Kyogre, and it was Terrakion, wasn't it? So we are not going to be able to power these Pokemon up or change the moves on these Pokemon. And each after each of uh, the battles, we will not be able to use them Pokemon again. So the fact that I'm using my Garchomp and Kyogre now may come back and punch me in the face, but we will see. Okay, down goes the Thunderous. We have an attack coming in here. I think we're gonna pop a shield. And Chloe's last Pokemon is a Pharisian, so. Right, so Chloe's lost two of her Pokemon so far. We're currently sitting very, very strong right now. We've got a Surf, it's gonna be shielded. But, little does she know, we've got another Surf. But this is not going to be very effective due to you being a grass type, so. That is game over, so I won the first uh, battle, so round one goes to me. But I can no longer use my guard from Kyogre or Terrakion, so we will see where this goes. But as I won round one, I get to choose the first number for Chloe's Pokemon again. So if we go number 15, Kyrim, okay. And if you choose mine, uh, the number for me. Number 13. Number 13 is going to be my Weezing, Galarian Weezing. Oh, that's not too good. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to choose Pokemon number six. Horrible. Okay. Number eight. Number eight is going to be my Latios. Not a good one. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to choose final pick ball, number 14. Embor. Embor, okay. And then you choose yours. Number 11 is going to be Honchkrow. Oh, guys, she has chosen, I think, my weakest Pokemon. This is the team we're going to be running with. It is a 2011 CP Galarian Weezing, a 2044 CP Latios, and a 2015 Honchkrow. With this being that you cannot change the moves of the Pokemon you're using, I have no idea what moves these Pokemon know. Okay, Battle 2 is commencing. Oh, no, Latios doesn't know a Psychic move. What's that? Aha, she's used a shield here, so we know... Uh, no longer have shields switched out to try and keep the Latios for when Kyrim is used. <laughs> oh, Hyper Beam is strong, isn't it? Oh, okay. Hopefully, Kyrim doesn't know a drag. Oh, but it's a nice type, so it's going to be super effective against us no matter super what. Super effective against me, though. Yeah. This could kill me off. I doubt it. Come on. Come on. No! Yes, come on. <laughs> right, so the first um, PvP roulette, we are the champs. Of, and now Chloe has to go through, make like a party bag of like 30 shinies, and then we get to choose a random shiny. But without knowing, we just choose a number and we will see what she has to discard. Are you happy about it or are you yeah, disappointed? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so well. Transfer it and tell you, yeah? Yep, yeah, transfer it. Thanks. Okay, well, what was the Pokemon? The Evolve Pop it. Oh, Skip Bloom. Yeah. So Chloe just. Transferred a shiny skip loon. I mean it could have been better by all means because it did have a big community day But that is gonna be the first PvP roulette over and done with hopefully you guys go on to enjoy this new take of PvP I'm going to be introducing to the channel and if you guys would like to see more Let me know in the comments down below and smash that like button and it will just allow me to know that you guys are enjoying this uh, But yeah with that all being said, thank you Chloe for helping me out with this video and I'll speak to you all in the next video. Peace